Oh, are we recording? Oh, hi guys! Welcome to the channel! <laughs> I really don't know why some YouTubers they talk like that in front of the camera. I don't know, do they talk like that? If you are an OG of this channel, you know that I have done many videos about my backpack and I stopped doing those videos because the thing is that it was becoming repetitive and it was like just showing the same thing over and over. I might change the back here and there, but it was always the same thing, so I stopped doing those videos. And then I realized, oh man, I've been doing e-bikes for a few months, uh, all the way back to December. I come from, for the new people, I come from the road bike and mountain bike background and then I switch to e-bike. So uh, I have to change the stuff that I carry because it's a little bit different. And I was like, you know what? I should do another video, but focus on the stuff that I carry when I'm riding my e-bike. Just to start the video, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I, I was able to not use in comparison with the regular bikes and the e-bikes. All right, so one of those things is, is the water. Uh, pack. Oh, um, some people they will use um, they will use a water bottle. So now that I'm riding my e-bikes, it's something that you don't really need because you're not actually like pedaling. You're not using the same energy. And if you need to drink something, all you have to do is just stop and buy uh, something to drink. Uh, so this I was able to take it out. So also the a medical kit and. To be honest, you you riding a more powerful bike. So if something happens to you, I don't think a band-aid is gonna do it. <laughs> and the other thing is that I ride in the city, so basically in every corner uh, there's always a, a urgent care or a hospital or there's a lot of people around you that can uh, that can take care of you and there's a lot of ambulance around too <laughs> and a lot of cops uh, and that brings me to the other item that i don't use which is the chain so this is something also that that i wow this is heavy <laughs> uh, so this the reason why i don't use this is because i'm always uh, riding with people and it's usually like a group ride with maybe 50 people and when we go out, when we go to uh, a place to eat or drink, we are usually like all together. So it would be very difficult for somebody to take the bike because some people are eating, some people are next to the bike. So uh, there's no point for me to uh, have something like this, this heavy. Uh, so I do have a, a chain that is smaller, which I'm gonna show you right now, uh, but it's, I have never used it. So it goes to show you the need to have something like that all right all right so this is the main guy of the event <laughs> oh man i forgot that i have this thing on the side it's probably showing on the video the whole time all right so this um okay so just to give you a heads up this video is basically to show you what i carry when i when i go on an e-bike ride uh, I really don't care about what type of bag it is and to be honest this bag it was not meant to be used like I use it so, <laughs> so keep, keep in mind that this is not a review about the bag but it's just to show you uh, the setup that I have and the stuff that are inside this bag. I really don't care what type of bag it is or the brand or anything because I'm not going to be inside the bag it's just going to be tools so I, I really don't care as long as it has everything that I need. Uh, I'm good and also I, I always like to keep it small I, I noticed that when you go big with the bags uh, you usually uh, put yourself in a situation where you're gonna put more stuff in it and I don't want to be that guy where it has like this big bag like it's going on an expedition to uh, to the mountains this is something that we're gonna be riding for a few hours uh the most 
and you don't need to have that many things uh, unless you're carrying batteries but the thing is that the bikes that I have they have plenty of range uh, to take me back and forth and I use my car to go to places and then I go to the middle spot and then from there I'll do the ride so I always have the range uh, that, that might be different for some people that they have to travel all the way from their home uh, to the middle spot all right so this bag if you guys want to know because I usually get a lot of people telling me oh why don't you talk about the bag so I can tell you that this was meant to be for a mountain bike and this is something that I was using to put it on my hips when I was uh, on the trails and one day I was like I need to have something like this to put it on the handlebars and and I, I did that and I was like, oh man, this is perfect. I mean, it wasn't meant for that, but I was like, if I have this bag and it cost me, this is not cheap. Uh, and I was like, man, this is perfect. I don't need to buy another bag. Since I have this, I might as well use it. So what I, what I do is I, I use the straps on the front and I would loop it around the, the handlebars and then I can adjust it and tie it down and then it's good to go, I, it's, it's perfect. I think it's kind of similar to the, the bags are, are dedicated for that. It just happens that these bags has a lot of straps so you can attach it to anything. Uh, and then the big uh, straps that you have here that's supposed to go around your, your waist, I will close it and tie it down and then any excess of straps, I just uh, loop it around so, so it's not gonna be flapping around. All right, so let me show you what I have here. So, so I have here two compartments, uh, two sections here. So I'm gonna hold on, let me open this up. So the stuff, the one in the back. Oh, and let me show you. This is where you actually put the water pack. You put it, you put it right here. So since I don't have the water pack. I can I have more space to put the things that I really need. So the first item that I have here is the the air pump. And man, I gotta tell you, this is one of the most essential things that you need to have when it comes to riding your e-bike. Because at the end of the day, the most important thing is that when you have a, a mechanical problem and, and you're riding with your friends, and then if you don't have anything to fix it, it, it will ruin your whole day. So this is something that is, for me, this is the number one item that you need to have, an air pump. And this one is a little bit big and a little bit heavy. And the reason why I went with this, because there's uh, different models that are uh, smaller than this, but I wanted to have the power. So when I'm pumping the air, I don't want it to be uh, lasting for too long. I want it to be quick. So I want it. It's like uh, car racing <laughs> in NASCAR or F1 when they change the tires. I want to go in and out and, and go back uh, riding my bike. So this is why I went with the big one. And again, I'll leave the links on the bottom if you are planning to uh, buy some of these things. All right. So the other thing, and this is also big. Uh, is a spare tooth when I get a flat tire and this thing is big man so this is something I use a regular bag because I didn't want it to be like just uh, without any protection so I put it in this bag I mean this is very simple you just you just look for the size of your of your uh, tires and then you buy a spare and this is what I have if something happens uh, I can change the tire I only have one uh, I don't think you need to have two. It would be crazy uh, for you to have a flat tire in both tires. I never seen that before, and I never had a flat tire on on my e-bike, so I've been lucky in that sense. All right, so that's it for this section here. So in the front, oh man, this is <laughs> this is something also that is very essential. So this is a tow rope. Uh, this is something that you use in case uh, somebody run out of battery, which is uh, very common uh, when it comes to uh, e-bikes. Uh, if somebody runs out of juice, then you can tie it down and tow that person uh, to a location where they can charge. So this is something that I use for my friends, or, or maybe I can use it for myself if, I, if, I, if that happens to me. So this is something that I have on my back as well. 
And I think the last item uh, and these uh, the the tools that I need to change uh, or repair anything on the bike, tie anything down. Uh, so I have this to take out the tire. I have a, a multi tool. I have showed this in the past in, in previous videos. So it has all the all the things that you might need to unscrew or tie something down. Also, I have this, and the reason why I have this is because of the pliers. It's very small, but <laughs> you might, you'll be surprised. How many times have I used this? It's, it's crazy how tiny it is and, and how, how useful it is. And then, these are the tools that came uh, with the bike. Uh, so, this is something that I keep because it's, it, will, it will be very easy for me to not think about what size it is. It's just, this is something that came with the bike. So, I will grab this and I know that it's going to fit anything that I need to tie down. Uh, what else do I have? I think that's it. Oh, wait. So, I have also this. <laughs> and again, uh, I have a lot of tools in my garage. Uh, so, sometimes... Uh, I will be like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have something specific to my bike, so I can just go in, like I said before, like a NASCAR or F1 uh, races where they go in and they have the tools that they need to go in and out. So this is something that is very specific to the bike that I'm riding on that day. <laughs> and I think that's it. Um, oh wait, on and on the side. This is what I was. Uh, this is what I was telling you about. So this is a very simple uh, lock. Again, uh, the reason why is there is just in case, but I don't use it, so I didn't want to have uh, something bigger than this. I just wanted to have it just in case I'm gonna be like maybe uh, a minute or two without looking at my bike. So maybe I can have something that can delay the process of somebody stealing the bike. Uh, and I have another section here which I don't use so this is something that maybe I can use for uh, a camera I usually have of, of my uh, video equipment I, I have it attached to the bike so it will be rare for me to have uh, uh, more video equipment cameras or, or batteries in here because I already have everything set up I don't go for long rides and I usually don't record everything I usually record the things that I really need so I usually don't need to bring spare batteries because I I manage the time uh, that I record um, but yeah so this is the stuff that I usually have uh, when I go on a bike ride uh, like I said before this is not meant to be for an e-bike but it works for me I mean there's uh, a lot of uh, bags in uh, on Amazon that you can find uh, for me, this this was just the right size as I'm able to attach it to the handlebar with no issue uh, and it's working for me fine. Alright, so these are the things that I carry when I go on a bike ride, especially on an e-bike ride, which is different than the regular ones. <laughs> Hopefully this thing is beneficial for you. Maybe you can get some ideas uh, on how to limit uh, the load so you can enjoy your ride better. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao. Why so serious?